What's going on, everyone? I'm going to try not to complain about Tiffany. I'm supposed to be grateful for Tiffany and all that bullshit because she challenges me to be a better person. We're just not dealing with any rap bullshit, all right? Because the whole point is for her to get pregnant. And I don't give a fuck about career growth. I give a fuck about what it's going to look like when there's kids involved and all that bullshit. Uh, but whatever. Um, what was... Shit, I'm already getting distracted. Um, grateful for Tiffany and all that bullshit. Um, fuck. I think I was supposed to say something along the lines of like... It's, right now, I kind of just want to like play some video games and get... Uh, um, you know, just keep working and get more crypto. Um, I do think they're still planning a crash. I don't know when they're going to do it. I still think they might raise it up a little bit more. I, I totally think I sold too, too soon, but the reason why I did that is because I'm going to try to get a loan out so I can get a whole bunch more crypto now that my credit's going to be better. But I don't want to get into all that right now. Um, I would have post the other Johnny Lingo so I can go about playing video games and everyone who stalks my page can just watch that. But what it really is, is I guess it's real. They were telling me how there's like a gap because, well, the way they would say it, the way I, the way I heard it was like, you know how, like, Jesus, in the story of Jesus, he's, like, a kid and does all this crazy, awesome bullshit, and then, like, and then he's, like, an adult and does all this crazy, awesome bullshit? And I'm of the opinion the gap is because Jesus is probably made of, like, multiple people, or, you know, one of them being Caesarean, and he was sent off to, like, uh, uh, Himalayas to study Buddhist shit, and then he merged Judaism with Hinduism and created Christianity, which doesn't even exist, in, which doesn't even exist anymore, which is just like meditation and all that bullshit. But, uh, um, I get distracted. Anyways, so like, it's expl it was explained to me that like most churches have a gap of people in a certain age because it's like, well, you kind of only go to church when you're a kid and then you grow up and then, oh shit, you start a family and you're like, fuck, what do I do? I have to bring my kids to church. So like that, that gap is where like no one's really doing anything. So I think it's funny that church bullshit because Stephanie and all that bullshit, because it's like, fuck, I got to that point in my life. It's circular, but whatever, but it's just so aggravating. I just wish you would have communicated better. Look, I, I should say it when I was liquid for the million. When I was liquid for the million, she should have communicated better. She didn't. She just always assumed I would like figure out that Tiffany w Wang is Tiffany Young, and I didn't. So I literally just like twiddled my thumbs and went about my life and started trying to make a video game and all that bullshit. But now that I'm aware, I can prepare and all that bullshit. But really, all I'm going to do uh, is stack crypto and work. What I need, to, what I, I'm probably going to start doing another certification soon. Just, I just got all that shit done, so I'm going to just relax. And I'm applying for jobs just because why not? If you have to prepare, and I'm going to keep on getting paid as long as possible. But. I don't, well, I don't even know why I started making this one. It's supposed to be Christmas. I'm trying to make one where I don't bitch about Tiffany because she's the greatest and she's such a blessing in my life and all that bullshit. I mean, yes, but then I have to say it all. I'm still really pissed off about the rap bullshit. Like, I get that she has to, like, do music and whatnot. It's just so fucking disrespectful. And then... This bitch was trying to get me to do something by August. I, I think she was trying to get me to give like some kind of buy-in to the music video, and I didn't. I shut it all down. 
there's just still other shit going on that I know will upset me when I find out and I'm just trying not to get upset. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. And the other thing is, like, this is the thing, like, again, like, all, uh, <clears throat> again, like, I don't really follow accounts, but I see some of the, I think I might have followed them on the old accounts that were being, uh, that I got banned, which is why they might show up in my feed every now and then. But I see th these accounts that, like, go into all the crazy shit about how, like, all, like, the actors, like, Gerard Butler is coming out of as having to do all these weird things to get his parts and whatnot. And again, like, I'm, again, I'm, I'm fairly open about all the shit that I do. I'll just tell you the shit that I do or the shit that I'm into. And that's just that, right? You can deal with it or not. And even, even that shit, like, the reason why people tried like some psychologists try to like classify me as demisexual which i got really shocked at I was like that's called being normal why why would you do something you know like that with someone you don't care about right but really it's like pretty fucking simple if you just like are cool with me and are going to hang out with me and you even try to put up the effort of like you know, looking attractive, I'll probably fuck you. It's just that it's that simple. Human beings want to have sex. It's just what it is, right? Uh, if you get into all that crazy bullshit, probably not. Probably not. But um, it it, it the, the the issue is uh, it's not even about sex. It seems like for whatever reason, Tiffany is like, huh? There's no way for me to control him sexually to get me to do other things that don't involve sex because again like everyone has kinks but it seems like everyone who's tried to like catch me in a kink they've tried to like catch me in a kink so they could like use it against me and blackmail me to do something and i just never fell for it because i saw it coming a mile away but then it's like oh shit a kink where someone was actually like was just actually enjoying the kink. Yeah. See, people don't even do that anymore nowadays. So it's like, the only thing I can think of is that the reason why Tiffany was doing all this bullshit is because she's probably controlled and not in a position where she can have a relationship and someone probably just financially owns her or some bullshit like that. I don't know how else to say it. Hopefully I paid off all of her debts. I'm not paying any more of that bullshit, especially if you're going to go do some rap bullshit. It's fucking retarded. Who the fuck, it's retarded. It's so retarded. Why the fuck would you, it's just the, the thinking behind it. And they try to be like, yeah, is it going to be a hit song? I don't give a shit. I really don't give a shit. If it's such a good idea, why don't you have money for it yourself? Because it's not a good idea. It's so I don't want to keep on going to this circular bullshit. I am just going to keep on making money. I mean, like, and then buying crypto and I'll play Morrowind and probably film it and upload it. What, what, what was it? It was like everyone, they were like, when that crazy Anna Kate bitch, she, she, she's hot. But the thing is like these bitches that are hot, they, they want to use being hot to try to like get a bajillion followers. They don't want to use being hot. Like, the ones who are hot and want to have sex are doing porn or having OnlyFans. That's the sad fucked up thing about it. It's like Tiffany is either like grossed out about the concept of like, you know, having to have children because she's a super feminist and is hiding that or she's super controlled by someone and is not able to do what she says she wants to do, which is have babies. It's the stupidest thing in the world. Like, it's so retarded. So I'm just going to... Keep on stacking crypto and silver and gold because, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it's like, whoever the fuck it is that is controlling Tiffany, whoever the fuck it was that was telling me they control Tiffany, they are basically upset that there is no kink that I have that they can use to control me to get me to do whatever the fuck their cult does. Yeah. Yeah. It's called being normal. 
that's why when the psychologist was, and they make you do these tests and every now and then for some of the jobs and whatnot, they were like labeling me as like demisexual. And I was like, that's retarded. That's called being normal. Like what you're labeling, like they're like, like what you're trying to label as normal is called an abusive relationship. What you're trying to label as like, you know, uh, pan, all that bullshit is swingers and people who have like, you know, childhood based traumas and whatnot. The, the most you can say that I'm doing is being like, okay, well, I'm refusing to judge people by anything other than how they treat me. That, that, that's, that's why I think it's, that's why I think it's crazy that that is being labeled as something else that used to just be called normal. And it used to be that it didn't, ha it, it didn't be, it used to be that it wasn't that difficult to find something like that. It used to be you would just walk down the street, meet someone, think they were cute, talk to them, hang out. Oh, shit. Fooling around. That was awesome. I'm going to tell my friends about it. This is kind of how it used to happen. Now there's like managers involved and optics and, oh, I can't let people find out because then all my simps will know. It's so retarded. It's so retarded. There's, it's like that meme where like they're playing Yu-Gi-Oh and like the one card is like worship Satan or be broke your whole life. And then Yu-Gi-Oh is like buy Bitcoin. That's literally what it is. That's the other thing. I think when I went to the bank, I can't, I can't remember because I, I don't give a shit. I just remember like a lot of the people who were actually also religious or pretended to be religious when I was in high school, I think some of them are broke now and work at that bank I go to. And I think some of them overheard me talking about how like I, I spent $200,000 give or take on transfers this year from the bank. And it just got me thinking about like How how asleep you have to be to not see the past 20 years has been an attack on America, our freedoms, and stealing our financial wealth. Buy crypto and buy silver. Uh, like, at some point in time, she's either going to have to tell me what was up with all that money bullshit or go away. And she doesn't seem to want to go away. She just seems like she's busy and checking in still and all that bullshit. But... Whoever the fuck told you it was a good idea to do some rap bullshit is going to get their teeth kicked in because that's retarded. Why the fuck would I want to watch you hang out with other people? That is retarded. You are fucking retarded. If you are still signed to some contract bullshit that makes you do that stupid bullshit, you, you're retarded. I cannot... I'm not supposed to be calling her retarded. I'm supposed to be calling her a blessing, a Joseph miracle. I'm just going to post the Johnny Lingo shit and play video games because I, I, the level of cuntitude and that, that the stupid whore has, I cannot, I cannot believe that. I mean, I still honestly think she literally thought I was going to be like, Oh, you're making a comeback. That's fantastic. No, you stupid whore. Who gives a shit? I mean, Tiffany's a Joseph blessing and everyone go by beauty of Joseph. But hurry up, Stephanie. Very much so. All right, peace out. Oh, yeah, but oh, look. Oh, and I, I'm not supposed to go into their names because uh, I think that's why one of my accounts got shut down. One of the people who did used to guard President Trump um was a member of Olympia Boxing. So, but that's not the person. So that's how I met some of these people. So one day someone, one of my buddies who works Vice was asking me if I was like, uh, basically up to something. And I was like, not, not really. And long and short, that's how I found out that someone is trying to blackmail me. And that was why I was like, when I was going up to New York to see Stephanie, I was like, it couldn't be. It couldn't be Tiffany Young who's tr or something like that who's trying to blackmail me and get me to do some weird, crazy, creepy bullshit. Uh, so then I fired up 
I think I did a thingy about how I got to New York early and I made that Tinder that was like open to anything kinky and I got so I got so many so many matches it was kind of creepy and um a lot of them were Tiffany bots and then that crazy bitch followed me down from uh Manhattan and moved to DC and the witch's covenant and all that crazy bullshit and I caught them red-handed uh trying to catch me in compromising positions but this is the thing like they're not mad that i'm not into that shit they're not mad that i'm not doing that shit they're mad uh 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 yeah they're mad that they can't catch me doing something compromising and controlling and control me i told you before and i'll say it again and I have nothing to back it all up other than the day they were trying to get me to do a lot of weird shit with them. They were at the Trump Hotel. There's Will Chamberlain holding his fucking little whiskey thingy up with the lime in it. And there's Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate and Paul Joseph Watson looking very melancholy, sitting with him, getting their picture taken getting ready to go upstairs to some hotel room to do something weird and if it wasn't drugs it was probably sex okay so they have never ever gotten me in any of those positions and they're upset about it you would think tiffany would be ecstatic about that right no whoever the fuck it is that controls her is upset about that because how are we gonna blackmail him and you're just going to have to believe me when I say all I really wanted was Stephanie. Probably right now, if you just gave me Stephanie, I would just shut the fuck up because I can't think of anything else. But like, no, when I was, you know, trying to get an associate's degree in HVAC, I found out Tiffany Young existed, Tiffany Wang existed. I thought she was super hot, Galaxy Supernova. I started taking courses from the University of Bombay. I started hacking crazy shit on the dark web. Somehow I circumvented a deep state plan that in the Havex shit, people still tell me, like, people tell me Havex and accidentally stopping um, the Civil War in Charlottesville, t those two things, both of them, they were like, you don't understand. People will go their entire life and not have the impact of one of those events. You did two of those events. I stopped um, a malicious government, a deep state malware, trying to do some cyber bullshit on power plants, and then I stopped the Civil War. And I didn't even give a fuck. They tried to like make me famous and all that bullshit, and I was like, they're probably just trying to control me. Because that's what they were trying to do back during the, um, the bullshit. I told you again. They they like followed me. They they were trying to catch me doing like creepy bullshit, and they followed me to the PetSmart while I was buying Yukonuba for my pit bull, and they like got mad because they put so much effort into all these sting ops trying to catch me, and they never caught me. The there were a few times when again like the reason why I talk about all those those weird stings I used to do is because every now and then to piss them off, I would be like. That's the one I can get past the radar, and then do that, and then they have to, and then they're like, "Oh fuck, we had to stay out the other one." Yeah, it's, that's some, um, uh, what's it, Kevin Mitnick shit is going on too long, but like, no, that's that's the craziest thing. You would think that she would be ecstatic that I'm not into any creepy bullshit. Like the most I'm into is like because there's such a shortage of like non uh, woke bitches. Yeah, I'd fuck Blair White. That's like the that's like the most they they got on me, and like even then they couldn't look. They they threw some of those some of those shit at me, but you could see it a mile away. It's like why the fuck would some Italian German you know from fucking Brussels want to slide in my DMs? It's probably because you fell for the honeypot I put out there, and you're trying to entrap me. Like, that, that, that's the shit I used to do. And I caught them all, and I don't even give a shit. That's the thing that's annoying. Like, Tiffany's like, you better do what I say! Why don't you just fucking do what I say? Like, that's the bullshit. Like, the whole thing, 
about like, look, I'm not supposed to say this. It's going on 20 minutes. Like, I got really drunk and not not her. I was talking to one of the other, uh, I can't remember who it was. I think it was the dude who Rankin or Riken or some bullshit like that. I was joking around. How about how about like, look, almost everyone in some kind of religion has some kind of like great grandparent or grandparent who was involved in some conspiracy to try to take over America. That's what it is. Like, um, they would send us on these camping trips and then, you know, it's like, Oh, out in the middle of Goshen or whatever the fuck. And then there's someone who's like the, the, the head of the, whatever church sect. And then they'll go into some bullshit about like in the 1880s, there was this breakaway sect of whatever the fuck. And if that would have, panned out they would be the kingdom of zion and they would be the whatever the fuck so like you should look into especially in like virginia and the carolinas there's like a hell of like religious try to take overs um that's what religion is um so everyone's in some kind of a thingy right oh shit why did i bring that up um it's just crazy it's just crazy oh yeah so i was joking about how um one of the scoutmasters was a CIA person. I think his name was um, Dexter or some bullshit like that. And at one of the, because um, they have like, you know, scout things or whatever. And one of his, the, an older Dexter, like a grandfather Dexter was there. And he was also in like the CIA or some shit like that. And he had some old grainy footage of some kind of like uh, an army officer on some kind of like a hoverboard, like a hovercraft, and the dude is flying, and then he it tilts and he falls off, and then he goes on some speech about how like that's like the secret power of the priesthood, and if you like keep your covenants to the church, God will like bless you with that power, but that person didn't keep his covenants, and that's why he fell off. And then you get older, and, you, and then you realize that, like, that motherfucker was probably involved in some, like, secret technology ops, and he smuggled some shit out and was using it to, like, pretend to be God and all that bullshit. And he's showing it to kids, and, like, I, I know how to control the levitation material. Like, that's really the kind of bullshit they do. So, like, I'm not surprised that Hyundai Princess is involved in some secret society bullshit with some other people who are from the remnants of the Holy Roman Empire, and they're all in some... I don't... I do not give a shit. I seriously do not give a shit. I just... I don't even give a shit that it's Mossad that's running all the dating apps and all that bullshit. I just thought Tiffany was hot. I really... I thought she was hot. Like, seriously. She's the hottest bitch I've ever seen who dresses like a nun with glasses. Even when she's trying to not be hot, I thought she was hot. And I wanted to, like, find out who she was. And you pervos kept trying to entrap me doing weird shit. And I kept catching you and telling you I was catching you. And you're just, like, upset about it. It's so weird. It's so weird. It's like so weird. Like I even though I don't approve of it, this is why passport bros exist. A hot Asian bitch who I met randomly at a party, who's supposed to be some regular bitch, turned out to be Tiffany Wang, and for seven years she's been like stalking me, trying to entrap me because she wants to control my funds, which I would willingly give her anyways because of Johnny Lingo. But no, Josen, her family just wants to be able to control me, and they're upset that they can't find a way to control me. Is it so beyond you just to ask? That's the fuck. That's the that's the just ask. Don't demand, and don't hide shit. Don't don't like. Do you want to come to our tea party? And surprise, it's Tiffany. No, just just just. I had a great time at the party. I can't wait to see you again. But uh, I, this was went on way too long. I just you were you were just supposed to be some hot Asian bitch. It, it's so it's so awkward now because it would make more sense 
if you were trying to harvest my organs. Because it literally looks like Tiffany Wang spent the past seven years trying to entrap me. And when I say do weird shit, I mean, like, okay, like, basically, it seems like they've been trying to find some way to get video of me, basically... being submissive to people in a sexual way. And I'm like, if that was my thing, I would probably just tell you. If that was my thing, I would be like, why don't you just... It's so weird. It's so weird. Because now I think weird things about Tiffany. It's just so weird. And now like Gerard Butler does that to get parts. The Tates did that to get famous. Do, do you see why I don't want to get famous? Again, like I'm not judging people. I'm not. I'm I'm not into that. I'm not. Without going into it, if I was into that, I could go do that. All right? Uh, I, I just I would not. I'm not into that. But it seems like Tiffany is, like, upset that for seven years she has gotten zero evidence that look all the evidence right now that she has on me is that I'm not into that all right she's even tried to entrap me and uh, I won't go into I won't go into how I know but she tried to entrap me and or one of her handlers and I was like no I'm not into that crazy bullshit and then I found out later on it was a, a Tiffany handler or bot or some bullshit like that. So her little crew is upset that I'm not into that shit. That's what fucking is annoying because you were just supposed to be the hot Asian bitch. I just wanted to fuck you and, and marry you and have babies with you. But now you're some weird cult person who tries to find ways to get people look do, do you want to know why i saw this coming a mile away because there were some weird witches in charlottesville who was doing this to people and there was some crazy dude named colby or cody or some shit like that and once we saw this motherfucker wearing um cat ears we were like that's that's the mark they're gonna do that to him next like you guys are in some weird cult thingy and you were just supposed to... You still can just be the hot Asian bitch. We're just not doing that cult shit. I don't know how else to say it. I didn't I didn't want it to make it weird, but it got weird. But... No. For seven years, they've been trying to catch me in submissive ways, and I, I just don't do that. And they're upset about it. It's weird. Have a nice Christmas.